Our topic is Writing an argumentative essay Makapagbukas ng isip Makapagbigay ng tinig Makainfluensya So, napakalupit ng ating title So, welcome And uh, today, uh, I'll be sharing information about this So, simulan na natin Sabalit kayo eh. Wala na Lumayo Lumayo Naaalala ko ang mga gabi Na kahit higa sa ilalim ng kalawakan I feel ang um, mga students ko um, We already have an idea of what argumentation is not and what argumentation is. So, para sa mga nakikinig, ano, um, argumentation is not a uh, tarayan to the max. You know? It's not yung pagtataas ng kilay na talagang yung mga nguso talaga yung ng todo. Ano? Uh, at ang mga mata ay nagagalit. Ano? Ang ilong ay umuusok. It's, it's not those. Ano? It's not that. Uh, rather, argumentation is more of um, a process, you know. It is a process wherein um, you have to defend uh, your stand. But, meron din mga values na napapaloob dyan, you know. The values of open-mindedness is one, you know, of being calm, of being uh, searching for truth, you know, accepting one mistake. Yeah, and so... Yan ang uh, argumentation and I feel um, with some of my, st- I mean with my students, you know, grade 10 uh, Ruby, grade 10 Sapphire, grade 10 Epidote, grade 10 Pearl, and grade 10 Opal. I feel you had uh, an experience, you know, of debating. So uh, let's take a look uh, on uh, the meaning of argumentation. Right? Yan, makikita ninyo na it needs effective use of persuasion. So, uh, dito ko nga sinabi sa mga sa inyo na um, sa mga students ko ano, na nakikinig, uh, sometimes, um, there, there are times that you gotta really be like a politician, you know, uh, a very effective, convincing uh, politician. Yung mga persuasive techniques na, for example, um, um, you know, itong uh, ethos, uh, pathos, logos, you know, uh, the credibility, uh, the appeal to the emotions of the audience, uh, the goodwill, and the desire to make them uh, better, you know, by giving them honest information and useful information. Yan yung mga good uh, things na uh, I would say uh, um, a good and well intent and honest politician could do. Also, I have talked about values kanina, pero also, the, m- the more important part, you know, is uh, the logos, you know? It's the use of logical reasoning. So, you must avoid uh, the fallacies, you know, to mga wrong reasoning. Uh, we have studied that, like, for example, ad hominem. Uh, hindi ka nakikinig sa argumento ng iyong opponent, but more on, inaatake mo sa kanyang physical na itsura or inaatake mo ang isang chismis na narinig mo sa kanya uh, na wala namang evid- uh, evidence ano? so that is ad hominem or attack on the character meron din mga tinatawag na character assassination ano? sisiraan ka no? so may mga ganun and uh, of course there is uh, poisoning the well and yan ang mga yan ang mga fallacy ano? if a person uh, uses mind uh, he would see that these are really uh, quick uh, and thoughtless um, claims na hindi naman talaga totoo. So, we avoid that in argumentation. Yeah, I recall uh, the previous lesson. Ano? Uh, you see, uh, argumentation and debate were our previous lessons sa aking mga klase. Ano? So, I kind of say, uh, said to my students, you know, um, yung mga corrupted, itong mga 
itong mga uh, nabago na yung uh, pananaw ano. Uh, I mean they they studied argumentation well, uh, they studied debate well and they had those ideals but towards the end nabago sila ano. So they just like Sith, para mga Sith sa Star Wars. Uh, the Sith they care for winning ano uh, above anything else. Okay? Uh, they can use dishonest or manipulative tactics. And of course, ang masama, they distort truth. And they can attack opponents, ano? Uh, personally, ano? Gaya nung ad hominem attacks, ano? It's attack on the person, not on the argument. And of course, yung uh, isang pang kinakainisan ko, uh, I always tell my students this, they will tell something true about you, maybe one or two uh, statements, and then sa dulo, mamali siya sa nila, ano? Yeah, for example, of strawman fallacy. Uh, Socrates is a wise man. Uh, he talks with sense all the time. That's why he hates stupid people. He does not like to talk with stupid people. So, nagsabi ng dalawang bagay na totoo and then sinundan ng mga bagay na hindi naman totoo. Na umaasa na yung uh, uh, stiff na ito na na uh, maloko niya yung nakikinig ano? and kadalasan ang daming naloloko dyan ano? uh, na kung hindi ka critical thinker kung hindi ka nag-iisip muna bago maniwala no? so yeah um, for my listeners ano, check the fallacies ano? uh, isa-isay niyo yan and, uh, uh, and one time we can have um, I feel we can have a, a segment for this ano? Uh, maybe a topic for this about the fallacies so I really want to uh, really teach you to avoid fallacies and to determine um, yung mga poor reasoning and yung mga uh, mga hindi katotohanan na madalas nating uh, naririnig o misan pa nga binabato sa inyo o kaya sa atin ano? And, um, yeah, uh, also of course that they will be less interested in genuine dialogue ano? less be Jedi ano? and uh, we should value honesty, integrity, and transparency. Uh, we must use reliable sources and verifiable evidence. And of course, uh, we must uphold truth. Truth sometimes can be sad, uh, bitter, shocking, you know. Uh, but that's truth. And the pinaka important we must be really interested in genuine dialogue. When I say genuine dialogue, Ito ay talaga nakikinig ka sa punto ng iyong kalaban, ano? Uh, sa opposing sides arguments. Kailangan kinokonsidera mo yan. Uh, sabi ko nga sa mga students ko, if you are an educated uh, debater, ano? If you have uh, the, uh, the uh, values, ano? You will go to a debate, you, you know, meron kang daladalang paniniwala, uh, uh, paglalaban mo yan, but towards the end of the debate, that belief would have been likely changed or modified. Bakit? Eh, kasi you learn something from your opponent. It's more of the seeking of truth, uh, finding the best ideas, ano? Uh, testing all the evidences, all those good reasoning so that we can find ano ba talaga yung tama? Ano? Uh, that's the way. And of course, yung praxis, ano? Diyan dapat, after the debate, after the dialogue, diyan na yung action, ano? And, uh, syempre, uh, we hope, ano? We must not lose hope that uh, our opponent could also help us, ano? Kung tayo ang tama. And kung sila naman ang tama, we can help them, ano? Or we can go for the middle ground, ano? Yan, so, um, tuloy tayo. And perhaps, um, I have already pointed uh, to you ang mga mga important ni bagay sa argumentation, ano? This time, tutungo tayo sa isang example ng argumentative essay. Here is a simple outline for an argumentative essay. This one can be found um, in the modules that they use. And um, uh, this is only consisting of five, ano? You have an introduction, the body, uh, the body paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three. Well, Maganda pag tatlo uh, ang, ang iyong uh, argument ano, para mas malakas ang iyong pinupunto. And of course, you have the conclusion. 
So let's quickly examine this, ano? Usahin natin. Hook, uh, kailangan ng una-una ay hook. Uh, that means, uh, may ganyan mong bumasa ang mambabasa, no? So, maari ang interesting statement o kaya ay facts, ano? Uh, next one, background information. And so, sabihin mo kung ano yung i-discuss mo. And, uh, Siyempre, ano ang pinaka-point or stand mo? Yung thesis statement mo. Yan yung argument na ipaglalapin mo. So, body paragraph 1, 2, and 3. Tatlo yan. No? Let me just put my cursor. Body paragraph 1, body paragraph 2, body paragraph number 3. So, lahat ito ay may simula. Siyempre, topic sentence. Sabihin mo kung ano yung pinupunto mo, ano yung argument number 1 mo. And then, sabihin mo yung evidence and then explanation. And then, there's what we call counter-argument. Ito yung uh, panlaban ng opposing team. Ano yung sinasabi ng opposing team? Ano? So, if you look at paragraph number 3, may, may simula, topic sentence. Ano? ano yung argument mo? Yung main point ng paragraph na to? Ano yung evidence na pang support mo doon? And syempre, more explanations. Ano? and try to convince and persuade them because this is argumentative essay. And then counter-argument, ito nga yung sinasabi ng uh, opposing team. So, paragraph 4, ganun ulit, ano, there's yung argument number 3 mo, you have to say it, and then you got to provide evidences, okay, uh, strong ones, ano, and of course, explanation. With the explanation, you can use uh, appeal to emotions, ano, uh, examples and so you can establish your claim and pagdating sa part 5 that's conclusion so you say once more your thesis you know? and then you kind of summarize just the main points you know? uh, you can say uh, um, I, I don't agree with this uh, for the reason for three reason uh, and then your argument number one and then say your argument number two and then argument number three Finally, you got to some, uh, you got to call to action, you know? and uh, it can be a, a direct call, tumawag ka ng pagbabago, or maaring tanong. Alright, so uh, let me um, read to you, you know? let us examine, you know? let us examine uh, Jeepney Operator Strike Back by Anna Christina Tuazon of Inquirer.net. So, Anna is one of my favorite uh, writers in an in a inquirer. So, uh, before this, um, inayos, inaral, inaral ko na siya, no? and uh, nakita ko ang uh, introduction, no? ang body and conclusion ng essay ni Anna, ni Ms. Tuazan. And, narito siya, ito. You can see it here, no? So, let's, let me kind, let's, uh, Isa-isay natin ito, ano, para matuto tayo magsulat ng argumentative essay, ano. Okay. Alright, in inquire, uh, nakukote talaga yung mga writer, ano. So, sabi dito, ang mga jeepney operators daw, uh, katakot-takot na hirap ang, ang dinanas, ano, at napaka, uh, at napaka chaotic, ano. Pero itong modernization na nangyayari, itong modernization program, yung uh, uh, pag-aalis sa mga jeepney, ano, uh, na gagawing mas mga modern na sasakyan, ito daw ay uh, di, uh, ina inaalis ang kanilang istorya, ano, ang kultura. Ano. So, uh, that was the quotation uh, from Anna Christina Tuazon ano, in her uh, column, Safe Space. Ano. And ito ay lumabas sa Philippine Daily Inquirer, ano, ng March 2, uh, 2023, ano, just citing sources, ano. Alright, so, ang first paragraph niya ay ang kanyang introduction, ano, yan. So, in the introduction, uh, it's about the background of the issue, no? What is happening now? Why is this happening? What is involved? Ito yung mga tanong, ano, na nakita ko dyan, and how much? So all of these are information na uh, very important and and nakita natin kanina uh, may sinasabing hook ano yung hook kailan daw maging interesado ang mambabasa pero I feel uh, this is this issue is very interesting ano and in fact wala nga tayo sa school ngayon tayo ay nasa mga bahay natin dahil dito ano so 
Yeah, let's try to understand kung ano nga ba mga punto de vista dito, ano. Uh, let's start first with, with Miss Twasson's point of view, ano. So, sabi niya dito, um, um, sabi niya dito, 40,000 traditional jeepneys in Metro Manila ay mag strike ngayon, ano. Uh, dahil ito sa mandate na Vehicle Modernization Program ng, ng Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board, ano. Yan. Memorandum Circular Number 2023-013 uh, Ititigil na daw ang franchise, ang individual franchises ano, para sa mga traditional jeepneys. Ano. Dapat yan ay June 30 pa, pero na, na, ano yan, eh, na, na push pa, no? na paahaba pa. No? Yan. And uh, papalitan daw ng mga... Uh, yung mga vehicle na may Euro 4 or electrically powered engines, ano? Yan ang choices para mas maging safe sa ating environment, ano? Ang, and then, uh, sabi dito sa second paragraph, ano? The more I read about what's being asked of our traditional jeepney operators, the more I fully understand kung bakit sila lumalaban, ano? Kung bakit sila tumututol. And this is now the thesis statement, ano? Ayan. So, in the introduction part, dapat nandudun ang thesis statement nyo. Ano, ano yung pinaglalaban mo? Ano yung uh, pinaka-claim uh, mo, no? And this is the claim of uh, Anna, no? Ang sabi niya, ang PUV modernization program ay talagang totally ini-ignore, ano? Pinagsasawalang bahala ang kultura at ang community ng mga Filipino traditional jeepney, ano? So, again, uh, that is in the introduction, ano? Now, ang sinasabi natin, kapag meron kang claim, ano? In a debate and in argumentation, you got to prove it. So, ang mga susunod na paragraphs, yan ay magpapatunay do sa sinabi ni Anna, ano? So, let's see how she will work, uh, how she have written the body of her argumentative essay, ano? Alright, so, ang body niya ay may argument number one. Yun ay nagmula sa observation niya. Argument number two, ito ay statements or ideas from the people involved or authority. And of course, argument number three, good reasoning and persuasion. So, punta muna tayo sa argument number one. Ano? So, ang sabi niya dito, eto yan, ano? Ang mga jeepney operators daw ay natatalo ng mga bigger corporation, ano? Because um, small operators are banned from participating and manufacturing uh, of this uh, jeepney, ano? And, and ang sabi pa dito, 15 to 20 modernized vehicle prices, ano? Uh, uh, at ang bawat isa ay nagkakahalaga ng 2 million each, you know? So, it says here, uh, operators must, uh, there's a requirement, you know? there's a minimum requirement up for a franchise. And that is, uh, you have to afford 15 to 20 modernized vehicles. So, kailangan meron kang labing lima at the, o dalawampung ano, vehicles, ano? So, ang sabi niya dito, a hostile takeover is happening, you know? It's not modernization. Uh, sino ba naman ang makaka-afford ng uh, ganun kalaking kalaga kaagad, ano? In just a span of few months, ano? So, that's the first argument is coming from observation. So, when we are uh, writing argumentative essay, we can start with observation, ano? Uh, that's a good thing to start. And then, argument number two, this is a statement or ideas from the people or involved authority, you know? Dito, kinote niya si Modesto Floranda, the national president of the pinagkaisang samahan ng mga chuper at operators nationwide, or piston, you know? Uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Floranda said, you know, that it is wrong, you know, sabi niya, maling-mali ito, uh, na i-consolidate ang mga franchises, ang individual franchises ng mga local jeepney operators, ano, 
mga local businessmen na nakumikita sa jeepney, ano, mga Filipino, uh, into a big corporation, ano, into a big uh, foreign uh, corporation. And so, mawawala daw ang business independence, ano, ang kakayahang, uh, you know, magsarili ng mga Pilipino uh, na kumita ng pera, ano, sa pumagitan ng pag-ooperate ng mga jeepneys, ano, Kasi ito ay mapupunta sa mga rich capitalists, ano? Because these rich capitalists, they can afford uh, 15 to 20 modernized vehicles. When we say modernized, it's a power, it's Euro 4 uh, or electric, ano? And yun daw ay nagkakahalaga ng uh, milyon, ano? So, nakita natin kanina dito, 2.4 million to 2.8 million, ano? Ayun yung halaga dito sa taas, ano? Yan. So this is what's happening, ano? And um, and for argument number three, it's good reasoning and persuasion. So for part one, um, she gave an observation, ano? It's not a takeover. Uh, it's not modernization. It is a takeover. Ang umuha na, ano? Pag ichipuera do sa isa, pang api, and then, you know, pag tulak talaga. And then for... For argument number two, statements from people involved and the president said it's really not correct. It's very wrong, you know? Uh, they will lose business independence and, you know, these cooperatives are, are owned by rich capitalists. These are the ones who will benefit more. Now, for argument number three, you know, this one, it says here, the jeepney industry has always been firstly local and independent one. Ito daw ay local, ito ay dito sa atin ginagawa, ano? At ito ay talagang independente, independiente, yeah, <laughs> independiente. Because, um, nagsimula pa nga ito, uh, one of the oldest is Sarau Motors, ano? Now, in this part of the argumentative essay, you have to use, utilize good reasoning, Kailangan magandang tamang pangangatwiran. And uh, you can do that by giving examples. Ano? And when you have given enough examples, then you can persuade. Makakakumbinsi ka. Ano? Let's take a look. So, sabi dito, ang Sarau Motors daw ay isa sa mga first jeepney makers ng ating bansa. Uh, 1953 pa lamang, nandiyan And even in 1964, nakilala yan sa New York, sa World's Fair. And jeepney has become a symbol for the Philippines. Right? So that's one example, you know? Uh, but should you end in just one example? Well, you you have to give more examples, you know, para sa argument number three. Uh, the other one example is uh, when Pope John Paul II uh, in 1981 visited Philippines, a, a jeep was the one that's used by Pope John Paul II, you know? So it's uh, they customize it daw ano tong jeep na to and saraw din ang may gawa ano. And I feel I can remember that I was still young then pero uh, uh, I, I I recall that ano maganda yung jeep na ano maganda yung chura. Uh, and you could really uh, you could really um pinpoint na ay it's a Philippine jeep ni ano yan. Okay uh, and of course um Yung third one, it uses emotional appeal, ano? So, sabi dito, ano? Ang jeep daw, ano? Is peppered, you know? Peppered with stories of families, ano? Saving up for their first jeepney, ano? Alam mo yung pakiramdam na magkaroon ka ng sasakyan na, na, na jeep, ano? Uh, pinaghirapan mo yan, pinagipunan. Uh, for the Filipino, uh, perhaps, uh, uh, the father was an OFW, and then when he returns home, uh, he bought the jeepney, you know? So, talagang there are stories of the families, you know? And, uh, sabi dito, you know? uh, You can see here, uh, sabi ba, you can see here the pictures, you know? Pictures of the family members, you know? Uh, the family story in the jeep. And, um, and we see portraits of their loved ones as a reminder that behind each vehicle is a Filipino family. I like this, you know? Behind each vehicle, jeepney, is a Filipino family. Yan. Dito na sa tingin ko, nang, nag, yung love, ano. I, I told you, I told my students that 
uh, in your essay, in your speech, you know, there must be love, you know, there must be kindness, you know? and of course, giving voice to the oppressed, sa mga naapi, sa mga walang boses, ano. Ito na, dito na nagsisimula. Sabi niya, in every vehicle of a Filipino, jeepney, a Filipino, there is a family, ano. A family that depends on that vehicle. Uh, even though I am kind of annoyed, ano, I, I drive a motorcycle, and may mga jeep talaga na barumbadong magpatakbo, ano. But having that idea, I feel, ano, uh, is kind of enlightening, ano, and giving us more empathy about families that depend on this uh, vehicle. No? So, and, and uh, yeah, I, I, I recall this. They even proudly paint words that inspire them and motivate them to keep going. You know? These were the old jeeps. And uh, I, I may say to Ms. Twas, you know? pero siguro meron pa rin ito. You know? uh, yes, and that is a chaotic mess. Sabi niya, it's a chaotic mess. Talagang Napakaraming jeep sa kalsada, ano? Hari ng daan, ano? Pero sabi dito sa dulo, the modernization program as it stands strips the jeepney of their individuality and washes away their, their stories. Yes, uh, I kind of, uh, ang galing, ano? Uh, if you notice, argument one is observation, argument two is statements from people and the authority, ano? Si, uh, Piston President Modesto Florando, siyempre yun ang authority, ano. But, uh, it could have been better kung nakuha rin ni Anna yung uh, point of view ng, uh, ng uh, kalaban nito, ano. Na opposing, uh, argue, na, na opposing na, na cooperatives, ano. Yan. Now, uh, also, uh, you might have noticed na wala yung, ano, yung, uh, what do you call that, um, dito sa ating uh, wala yung um, counter argument ano yan so th- that that one is missing um, for a student who would like to put that i feel uh, kailangan basahin mo yung uh, other side ano so uh, one of the other side is an opinion ano from a certain um, Rudy Coronel ano uh, from Batangas ano he pointed here in lost opportunity in jeepney strike ano he pointed here that um, the classes are affected, you know, um, number one. And then he said that uh, pollution will be uh, reduced, you know, if we go for Euro 4 and uh, electric vehicles, you know, and those are very important too. So, yan ang mga, ang mga uh, counter arguments kay Anna Tuazan, you know. Um, Pero I read this lost opportunity, you know, and I, I'm kind of not so convinced on this one, you know. And uh, let me now go to the conclusion, you know. Um, ito talaga yung nakonvince ako kay Anne, you know. Um, in the conclusion part, you got to have a call for action and yes, it's giving voice to the oppressor, you know. So sabi niya dito, merong paraan para na mag-modernize na sinusuportahan ang industry ang local industry, ang mga local na gumagawa ng mga jeepney, ano? instead na wasakin natin yung local industry na yun at mag-import na lang tayo na mag-import ng mga jeepney, ano? ng mga Euro 4, ng mga electric jeepney. So, uh, ang calls for action niya, support the local jeepney manufacturing. Ano? Yeah, um, I agree, you know? Uh, we got to support the Filipino. It's the Filipino. And then, more equitable swaps. Ano? Pwedeng pagpapalitan. Ano? Uh, I have an old Jeep. I'm going to swap it with a new one. And then, incentives ano? to motivate local jeepney operators. Ano? And the next one is, um, we got to increase access ano, to cleaner and greener options. Ano? Kung makina ba yan ay ipapalit sa lumang makina ng jeep, ano? Kung yan ba ay uh, gasolinang mas uh, greener, ano? Then we could get that instead of increasing the cost of entry. Remember ang sabi dito, um, the jeepney drivers, uh, uh, the jeepney operators need to have um, a certain number, ano? Uh, of a 2.4 million peso jeep or 2.8 million peso vehicle, ano? Na Euro 4 or electric, you know, and they get to have um, 15 to 20 of this, you know. So, 
that's that. Ano? I want you to read this. Uh, Jeepney Operator Strike Back. Napapanahon yan. And uh, kaya tayo nasa bahay dahil dyan, ano? Pero I hope uh, you also read The Lost Opportunity and you weigh things. And dyan, siguro tayo magtatapos, ano? Na ating uh, first podcast. And I'd like to thank you all sa pakikinig, ano? Dito sa Wonderings. And um, specifically sa ating uh, podcast na tinatawag kong uh, Pag-iisip. So until next time, mga students, enjoy the rest of the day. Huwag mo tayo magpaka-pressure. Um, for my students ano, who are listening, you can simply go to our FB Guides. I'm just gonna post a few questions there na sasagutan natin uh, dun mismo. And magkaroon tayo ng textual discussion na we can answer uh, within this week, ano? So, walang time pressure, ano? Yan. I know, I know When I come now, she won't believe me And so